Hi, I'm Phil Malto and welcome to Snowmobiler Television. On today's episode, we head to British Columbia to Boulder Mountain for an event called Yama Fest. Our test riders will be taking out some trail sleds. Ruski will show us how to move sleds around when they're not on the snow. And we head to the Mealy Mountains of Labrador for Kane's Quest. STV is sponsored by Yamaha, revs your heart. Kimpex, fueled by fun. And by Skidoo, never stop pushing. Some of the most fun you can have on a sled is off-trail riding. Today we've got sleds of all four OEMs and we're taking our test riders off the trail, into the powder, into the trees to see what they think about these off-trail sleds and how they perform. Twenty fifteen Yamaha SR Viper XTX, pretty much the same as last year. Not any major changes. Uh, the big addition this year was the uh, the tuner skis. From what we felt today, we uh, started out early in the morning with crisp, uh, really hard packed trails. And then uh, as the mornings ended here, um, the snow's loosened up a bit, uh, but there's zero darting with those tuner skis. Uh, any twitchiness is gone out of them. Uh, any pushing is actually gone too. It's, uh, it's a deeper keel on these tuners versus what's been on previous year Yamahas. So it's, it, you know, it's a tuner ski designed for that SRV chassis. Uh, works very well. Uh, it's a very tame front end and uh, we think this actually brings out the best in that front end. Um, so we're very happy to see that. It's a good addition on the sled. Um, we're running the sled off trail today a little bit. Uh, the um, Cobra track inch and uh, has a 1.352 inch track on our lugs on it. It handles the trails uh, excellent, but off trail it uh, it digs. Um, you know it you know it's not going to float like a mountain sled or maybe. Uh, Maybe like the LE version with the deeper lug track, it, it's you know it's going to sink a little more. But if you want to get off trail and explore through the woods and um, and do a bit of powder riding, I mean it, it's a good machine. We we're on the uh, 2015 Skidoo Renegade XRS. It's a new model for this year. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, nothing crazy different about it. Uh, there's a lot of nice features though that uh, come on the 2015s. Uh, one of the nice features is the 137 by 15 by uh, inch and a half lug track. Um, that's a great track for the trail. Uh, if you get off trail playing a bit, it's you know it's in a deep enough lug, but on trail it gives you tons of bite uh, without being overbearing. So you know I think even in low snow conditions, it's not going to be too far off the snow to cause cooling or sl slider issues. But uh, yeah, tons of traction. Uh, you're able to lift the skis if, if you set the coupling blocks on one and uh, yeah, so you can adjust that the way you want it and there's no definitely no shortage of suspension and, uh, and traction on that sled. Uh, the big, biggest new feature on that XRS though is the, uh, the RIS-2 front suspension. Uh, we just had them through three and four foot moguls and stutter bumps and you name it, back and forth. And it's definitely a huge improvement over the previous uh, XP front end that was found on the previous chassis. Um, yeah, going through the bumps, there's no bump steer, there's no negative feedback through the handlebars. It basically goes exactly where you point it, um, doesn't dart you around and you know when you hit a bump it doesn't want to throw you off one way or the other, it just stays tracking exactly straight and true. So definitely a huge improvement um, and uh, the spindles look better uh, and uh, you know it, functionally it, it's, it's a massive improvement and uh, it actually looks better and saves a little bit of weight too so that's kind of a nice bonus. So Articat's returning again for 2015 with the uh, 800 uh, Suzuki. Uh, really caught us here at uh, Snowgore Canada and STV off guard because we thought Cat would have their SeaTac uh, 800 this year uh, based on the success of the 600. But Artic is continuing to uh, use the 800 Suzuki for 2015. And if anybody's rode that sled, I still think even out here today with the new Polaris, that 800 cat engine, it just, it's like a sewing machine. It just spools up, the throttle response is instantaneous. It just goes like hell. And in the Pro Cross chassis from last year, again, no changes, didn't need to make them. You get the snowability and the deep snow 
Um, so if you're running up in the lakes in northern Ontario, you're in the slush, this thing, don't be behind it because this thing's just going to boost your tail out the back. But, you know, it just goes. Polaris switchback uh, axis chassis sled for 2015 from Polaris. Um, if you're bottoming it out, you got 12 position clickers front and back with the Walker Evans, and that really makes a difference, you know. And uh, I tried it on the softest setting to see if I could mimic the R motion, which is for me the benchmark of suspensions uh, in the chatters. And I have to proclaim that I think Polaris has caught up to the R motion, and that says a lot in the Rush chassis. We thought they were going to have to do that by going back to a, a fully coupled suspension, and Polaris has proven us wrong. They've changed the geometry, they've lightened up the rear spring, um, they've put a, f a longer front torque arm, and this thing, just by geometry, not by coupling, uh, eliminates those chatters. So you get big bump capability, and you get chatter bump capability, all in the ProRide chassis.